Hello everyone, March is back here and today I'll be comparing the PG3s and the Puma Uproars. These two shoes are two of my favorite shoes to open, so let's compare it and see what's better for you. But before we start, I would just like to inform you guys that I'm selling some of my pre-love sneakers and it's priced at a very good price. Help me out, buy them so I could review more shoes for you. Check it out, the link is down below. Before we start comparing, also I would put up the link here for the full detailed review of each of these shoes. So for the upper of these two shoes, this is a mesh upper for the PG3s all throughout. There's some synthetic materials here in the wings, in the thong, and also here in the color of the ankle. And these wings are very supportive. It helps out in support of this shoe. And comparing it to the uproar, which is also made out of mesh almost all throughout the shoe. There's synthetic leather here in the lateral part of the shoe and also in the medial part of the shoe. At the back, there's plastic in the heel cup. It's also very, very supportive. As you can see here, it's very similar in the forefoot. It also has some sort of wings here, but it's connected. So both shoe also gives you a very nice one-to-one -one fit. As for support wise, I would give a slight advantage to the uproars because when I first wore the uproars, the first thing that I felt and was impressed is the fit. Also the support that I felt in the forefoot area. Even though the support in the forefoot area of the PG3s is also very good, this one is a little bit better. That really goes to show how good the fit is on the uproar because I really love the support that I felt here in the PG3s. Moving back to the heel part of the shoe, both have nice heel containment and I would say they have the same height in the ankle area and there's enough ankle pillows on both shoes. Very nice heel containment, no heel slippage, no sliding off the footbed whatsoever. Like I've said, the fit on both shoes are very, very awesome. And as for the lacing system, this is a half booty, half thong. It's easy to put your foot in. The uproars, they have two pull tabs. It's also half booty, half thong. Both have very similar lacing system and similar laces too. Easy to loosen up, easy to tighten. So I'll give it a tie for that. And now moving on to the cushions. PG3 has injected Phylon with the forefoot zoom in it. While the uproars has an ignite foam from the forefoot going to the back part of the shoe and there's a pop of energy beads. The impact protection on the heel part of the uproars is very plush. It's very good and on the forefoot, it's also very plush with enough bounciness. And the difference on the PG3s is the forefoot zoom unit. It's very bouncy. Right off the box, you can feel how bouncy it is. So if you want more bounciness in the forefoot, PG3 is for the win. But if you want more impact protection, especially in the heel part of the shoe, uproars for the win. And that's where the court feel. Both have very good court feel, but you feel a little bit more closer to the ground on the PG3s. It's very low, but responsiveness on both shoes are equally the same. They're very good. Right now as I'm holding it, I can feel that the pop of energy beads on the uproars is a little bit heavy. So if I'm holding it in the thong part, I can feel the weight here in the energy beads on the back part of the shoe. Which on the PG3, you won't feel that. Very well balanced. Injected Phylon is pretty soft. The cushion is very well balanced. It's not bottom heavy compared to the uproars. But if you don't mind that, it's okay. Like for me, when I was playing with it, I didn't mind that at all. Because of how nice the fit on the uproars are. And as for the traction of the shoes, the uproars has line and some herringbone like pattern compared to the pattern on the PG3s which are moon craters. Both have very hard rubber so outdoor use is okay. Both shoes for me have very nice traction. Dust pickup is very minimal, both very dependable. But upon looking up close, I can see some areas of the uproar with little spacing so I think dust can get stuck there. Comparing it to the PG3s where you cannot find any pattern areas that are very close to each other. So slight advantage on that on the PG3s but both tractions are very very dependable. So as for sizing wise, true to size on both shoes and they're both very narrow on the forefoot and on the heel part is also the same width so wide footers have a size up let's weigh them in based on hand i can say that the uproars are a bit heavier because it has more synthetic overlays the uproars are 501 grams pg3 is around 412 that's a big difference it's around 100 grams difference so the uproars are a bit heavier because of the cushion setup and the pg3s are a really light shoe so if you don't mind the weight you can get the uproars if you're someone who likes it very minimal the pg3s are very light as for durability wise i think both shoes are very durable but slight advantage on the durability of the uproars because 
I like how it is really well made, very well stitched all throughout the shoe. That's it on my comparison between the Puma Uproars and the PG3s. I hope I help you guys out. Right now here in the Philippines, there's a lot of colorways of the PG3s. While the Puma Uproars still hasn't reached our shores, I got my pair in the US. I had a friend send them over here. So sadly, you can only find them in the US. I hope Puma Philippines brings them here. I know you're watching this Puma Philippines, so please bring this shoe here so that the people here can experience your performance basketball sneakers. So this has been Marcius once again. Leave me a comment down below. I'll gladly answer you if you have any questions. Thank you once again for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.